Hi Libra, welcome to your July 2022 general love reading. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. Before I get started with the reading, I just want to say guys, thank you so, so much for your love, your support, your understanding, your patience. I was gone for a while and it's because I got married in June and then I went on my honeymoon, which was fantastic, but then I got COVID. And it has been brutal. It's been rough. Um, I, I'm okay, guys. I am recovering. I've been quarantining. Um, and I feel much, much better now. But yeah, it was a long time. And I was ready to do this again, to start again. And you could probably hear it in my voice. I'm still recovering. But I have missed you guys. And I felt like it was the time to bring the messages out. So here we are. So let's get this started. This is a general love reading for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Libra. This will not resonate with every Libra that watches this message. And because this reading is general, not every single message is going to be for you. So please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear that message. And if this reading is not for you at all, Libra, I highly suggest checking out your other signs and different placements. Hi, cross watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in the Libra. Who wouldn't be? I like to remind Libra and cross watchers that energy is fluid. This simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed and that's completely okay. You're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the best. Okay Libra, let's get this reading started. As always, I'll be using my sound bowl to clear and set the energy. So if you are listening to this using headphones or the volume's kind of loud right now, I do suggest turning it down a little bit just for this part because I don't want your ears to hurt. So let's get this started. All right, so let's see what's happening in love and romance for the sign, sun, moon, energy, Venus sign of Libra. Anyone dealing with the Libra? What is the energy surrounding Libras at this time in July? Ooh, okay, Libra, let's get into it. It says friendship here. Now, this is not friend zone energy, so don't worry, don't sweat. What it says is this friendship is leading to something more. So, <clears throat> Libra, I feel there's someone who's had a crush on you for a while. Maybe at your workplace. Maybe, you know, you kind of met them through friends. You kind of been hanging out as like a friend group, especially those who went through like a separation. And I don't know why I'm hearing May for some of you. Um, could resonate. Maybe you, you're dealing with a Taurus, a Gemini right now. That's kind of in your vibes. Maybe you met in May. I don't know. But this person has always had a crush on you. This person has always started to, you know, have an eye on you, but they haven't fully told you where they see this going or what they want in this. Now for someone, not everyone, but for someone, this kind of could almost give me like friends with benefits vibes, but someone caught feelings, okay? Even if that was your situation, even if both of you were going into this with no strings attached, just having a good time, uh, things have changed since then. Um, the letter F is standing out to me as in, um, you know, Frank, as in Francesca, first, middle, last, initial can mean something to someone. Does not have to be the case in order for this reading to resonate. Um, but yeah, I feel, Libra, that someone's crush is starting to get stronger and stronger every day for you. And I feel someone's about to kind of come forward with their feelings. I feel some of you have a gut feeling about who this is. You've kind of picked up on their like subtle flirtations, maybe text messages that came with those little smiley emojis, winking emojis, but you're like, I don't know, maybe I'm reading too much into the situation. No, but they definitely have been sending those romantic vibes your way, but they haven't fully come forward. And I feel July is something they're kind of really starting to, it's building to this like point where they need to speak up or want to speak up. 
But let's see what they want to say. What they want to tell you. What they've been wanting to tell, uh, dying to tell you type of thing. Let's see. Tell me about this. What do they want to tell Libra, Spirit? What do they want to tell Libra in regards to how they feel about them? <laughs> There's so much I have to say and I don't know how. Yeah, guys, like, they think about you all the time. They think about what it would be like to come forward, to finally confess to finally reveal what they've been dying to tell you, but then their situations and scenarios they run through their head of you laughing in their face, rejecting them, turning them down. Yeah, sorry, I thought we would just be friends. Um, but yeah, Libra, they can't stay in the background anymore. They can't stand to watch you kind of maybe start to go towards a different direction or start to flirt with someone else because, you know, they haven't made their move. They're pulling up their pants, they're tying their shoes, and they're about to go for it, for you, for this whole situation with you. They, they want to give the best shot that they have. So here it is, Libra. July, there may be some sort of event that they've been waiting to ask you around, like maybe a party, maybe some plans that you guys have to go out together in some sort of friendly way, but they're, they're planning something more here, especially if they recently texted you asking what you're doing this weekend, specifically kind of asking you to, you know, just the two of you to hang out and kick it. I think that's the time they're going to reveal something. And I just saw a truck. I don't know if someone drives a truck, um, but you know, if that's a metaphor from spirit, it's like they have a lot they've been carrying, you know, because the truck always has like a truck bed. And they're using what they've been carrying for so long to kind of propel them forward into fully revealing everything they've wanted to tell you. And they're keeping their fingers crossed that this is going to work out, that this is going to work in their favor, but they can't imagine you being with anyone else. Jealousy kind of stirs up just by thinking of you moving on or going on a date. I don't know, maybe even if you guys are friends like that. They've been jealous hearing about you going on like a Tinder date or, you know, going out to get a cup of coffee with a coworker. They wish it was them. But yeah, they realize why you may have not have seen that vibe from them if they've been keeping it so hidden for so long. But let's see what the tarot has to say. Who page of pentacles? Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So this person does not make moves unless they're serious about it. They don't want some, you know, one-time thing right now from you. They're not looking to, you know, have this go nowhere. They want something serious, and they have an offer to give to you, Libra. Whew, okay, I'm going to get all the cards out first, and then we'll dive deeper into it. Mm -hmm. Seven, uh, the chariot, number seven. Because I said seven, maybe your birthday is October 7th, October 17th. Perhaps September 27th for some of you guys. Wow. Yeah, they've been watching you from afar. They've been, you know, checking your social media every day if you have social media. The feelings have grown, Libra. Wow, yeah. Okay. So, bottom of the deck, we have the Strength card. Leo Energy. You could be dealing with the Leo. You could have Leo in your chart. does not have to be the case in order for this reading to resonate. Um, but yeah, I feel with this, that this is what they've been holding back. They never, they didn't think it was the right time. They never thought you would give them a chance maybe, but the courage has been building to finally move forward and to confess, to say, to show how much they've always really had feelings for you, Libra, how much they've really cared. Someone likes to wear gold jewelry I'm picking up on, or the color gold looks really good on someone. Maybe someone has like warm skin tones. Maybe you guys met um, last August. Maybe they're a Leo or a Virgo even. Um, but whatever the case is, this has been a long time coming. And I feel they've had to control themselves a lot around you, Libra. There's been times where I feel like they really wanted to kiss you and almost felt like they were about to, but then they pulled back last second. Or, you know, you've seen them kind of write out messages that you see like the little typing bubble, but then they stop. I feel like if you've ever did see that, that's confirmation for you. They were about to like 
really tell you everything that they've been wanting to tell you. But then they didn't. They backed out last second. Um, you know, you could have met at the gym or someone could live by a gym, work at a gym, likes to work out, likes to strength train, um, has been with lifting weights, maybe doing squats, and it shows. Okay, it looks someone looks really good. Um, but yeah, I feel it's been long enough. It's been a long enough hiding. It's been a long enough not sharing. And I think someone's ready to kind of just stop trying to control the situation, stop trying to hold themselves back and just go for it. But they've been holding back for a long, long time. So let's get into it. The center of this connection for this month is the Page of Pentacles. So with the page, someone could be significantly younger in this connection. Um, I also feel like it's a co-worker for some of you. And, you know, maybe that's why they've held back too. They wondered if it wouldn't be appropriate, you know, in the workforce, in the workspace. But they've always subtly flirted with you. Um, you know, left notes at your desk. For some of you, if this is not your message, bear with me for a second. Or, you know, you guys had lunch together and, um, you know, they'd pay for it and be like, oh, it's nothing. I think they wanted to send you a little subtle vibe that, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of have a crush on you. But with this page of pentacles, I feel they're really ready to just make this happen. I feel they want to, they're going to or want to ask you out on a date. So you're, like, ask you out to dinner is kind of what I get. Um, in a romantic way, not in just a friend zone way. It's not going to be, you know, the McDonald's around the corner. No hate on McDonald's, but it seems more of like a formal setting, like a nice restaurant that they want to pick out. Um, something where they know they're going to gonna try to impress you. I feel them like wanting to dress up a little bit around you, knowing that they were going to see you and that they had to look good. Um, I'm smelling very strong cologne, too, whether that's you or them. It smells pretty nice, and it's a nice cologne, um, like a musky type of cologne. But, yeah, Libra, I feel they're just ready to give it all, to give this a chance, to give this a shot. Um, and they're going to tempt you, I kind of feel, with everything that they're, you know, providing with a nice dinner, with paying for the dinner, with giving you a ride home, whatever it is, they want to make sure that they do it right. Because this is something that they seriously want with the Page of Pentacles. And it may still be a page, but they could see this going somewhere and they'll work at this. Someone could also have a mustache I'm picking up on. What's crossing this is the chariot. And this is the challenge of the situation. Cancer energy, Sagittarius energy for me as a reader. <sighs> they wanted this so bad for so long. And I feel like they're afraid of coming off too strong, coming off a little bit too aggressive, coming off too intense. Um, this person is deeply afraid of rejection. I'm picking up on with this card for whatever reason. Usually I don't pick that up with the chariot, but like they know that they can come off strongly. So, you know, because they really wanted this to work out with you, they've taken their time. They've held back a lot. Um, also, for some of you, you could live pretty close to one another, like a few minutes drive, like off an exit on a highway, um, you know, 30, 20 minutes away from each other. But some of you, I'm kind of picking on, there's a lot of traffic that goes on in the area you live in. Maybe you're in the Bay Area, Los Angeles, um, you know, just examples of that type of traffic that you guys kind of have to go through. And traffic is kind of annoying to drive to where you have to go or maybe to work or whatever. I don't know why traffic's coming through. Maybe you're listening to this in traffic. But, you know, I, I feel Libra... Maybe this is challenging the situation for you because you prefer someone that's a lot more upfront. You prefer someone that's a lot more, you know, 
I wouldn't say dominant per se, but like not afraid to ask you for your number. We're not afraid to kind of tell you how they feel exactly how they feel it. So, you know, for some of you, maybe it does kind of turn you off in some way that this person has been sidestepping for so long or hasn't been so, you know, upfront about it. Um, someone could be kind of a bad driver too, or someone's driving kind of scares the other person, whether they're really fast or, um, I hope this isn't the case, but if someone's gotten a car accident really recently, maybe that's been kind of putting a toll in someone's life or pause in dating right now. If that's for you, I hope, you know, everything works out. I hope you're okay. Um, but just confirmation for someone out there. But with this chariot crossing it like this should have all happened a lot sooner why play this out for so long why be you know in the dark for so long when we could have just got this going from the start you wanted them to make the move too libra that's how i feel with this especially if you've been picking up on their vibes and you know exactly who it is that i'm talking about you like someone that is confident and charismatic and knows what they want and goes for it and maybe that's kind of bothered you about this. Someone likes to take control in the bedroom too. Just a side note. Maybe that's what you don't know about their bedroom side. But what's crowning this is the Knight of Cups. So Pisces energy. So with this Knight of Cups, yeah, it's been subtle flirtation from what you've seen from this person. But then it confuses you when they're not fully saying what they mean. Or how they feel. It's always like subliminal. It's always passive aggressive. Is kind of what I'm getting from this Knight of Cups crowning this reading. And Libra, it's simply like you're not going to be vulnerable with someone that isn't already being vulnerable with you. You're definitely not the first to, you know, put all your cards out on the table for someone that you have no idea where they stand at. But with this Knight of Cups, yeah, I, when I saw this card fall on the table, I got the feeling they've been watching you. They've been having their eye on you. They, you know, even if you see each other at work or even when you hang out in friend groups, like, they can't stop looking at you. You always see them that they're staring from afar and then they try to divert their eyes, you know, like, oh, crap, they caught me again. Um, and then those times that they stare at you, like, they're really turned on, but they're also kind of fantasizing about, you know, finally putting it all out there, taking you out on a date, having you be their boyfriend or their girlfriend. But they're a little intimidated. And maybe that's where the chariot's coming forward, too. They're a little intimidated by you, Libra. I don't know. You have this strong energy about you with the Queen of Wands, a very attractive, sexy energy about you. Um, you know, in their eyes, they kind of see you as being someone who could have anyone they want. And why would you choose them? You know, that's kind of what's been holding them back as well as that insecurity I've been kind of picking up on throughout this reading. But with this Knight of Cups, like, again, subtle flirting, but not enough for you to really get the green light from them that there's a strong sexual attraction. Now, for those of you where in the beginning of the reading, I was saying friends with benefits. Okay, not for everyone. But if that is the case for you, like they caught feelings they weren't expecting to catch. And you look really good naked. Okay. Um, they told you that they love your body. They think it's really soft or they think it's really sexy, really toned, whatever. Um, specifically for someone, they get their chest waxed. You or them, I don't know. If it's not for you, it's not for you. But yeah, I feel with this Knight of Cups crowning the reading for those where it started off as like no strings attached. Strings and cords got attached. And so now they're kind of more emotionally motivated now than they've ever been before. Now, for some of you where this is like a coworker, a friend, they may see someone else like making their moves towards you, Libra, or you starting to kind of go on a date with someone or start to connect with someone or multiple people. I mean, there's people who flirt with you. Um, why would they not? You're good looking. You have this amazing energy to you. Of course, people are going to come up to you and start flirting. But 
if they've seen like someone flirt with you or they've seen that you guys have been on a date with someone or, you know, on your Instagram story posting with someone, it, it, it's part of the component as to why they feel like they have to come out now and shoot their shot before it's too late. What's reading this is the Nine of Cups, Pisces energy. So, yeah, I feel, Libra, that you're their ideal person. You check every, you know, thing on their list that they would look for in a partner. You are good looking. You are fun. You are kind. You're caring. You're sweet. Um, I don't know. A lot of people would just describe you as being sweet. But maybe you don't show that to everyone. You only show it to a select group of people. But, like, I don't know. For some reason, I'm kind of getting that you're a really good friend. And you care a lot when someone makes that tight circle of friends within you, in, within your group, excuse me. And, you know, for that reason, I think it's more than just sex. It's more than just a lust. It's more than just you know, thinking you look good. It, it's something that they really do see you're a great person inside and out. And, you know, with this crush, it's definitely been something that's been weighing on their mind for a long time. This is rooting the situation. This is rooting the connection. And they've thought about you and they've thought about being with you and asking you out for a very, very long time. And each and every day that hunch kind of grows. <clears throat> excuse me and now it's getting to that point where you know I could have it all now and even if I get rejected at least I tried and at least I showed Libra you know how much I really do feel for them because it's kind of like this and I use this scenario when you're playing baseball let's just say and it's your turn to go up to bat and you're about, you know, it's up to you to make a home run. If you don't swing the bat at all, of course you're not going to get a home run. You didn't try. But if you take that chance, you have three or however many chances in baseball, I don't know. You have a chance to uh, hit that home run if you actually swing the bat. You know, you may be the one to score. So why not give it that chance? If I never do anything, I may just sit here thinking I could have had Libra, what could have happened between the two of us, but I was too scared to move forward. That's not how they want to be remembered. That's not how they want to remember this connection between the two of you, Libra. But yeah, they this crush is turning into a lot more. A lot more, for sure. So how they see you in this connection or what they think of you in this connection is the Queen of Wands, Aries energy. Now, regardless of gender or sex, the Queen of Wands is someone who, when they walk in the room, all eyes are on them. Sure, they could dress a little sexy or they dress really good, um, or it's just the energy that they carry. They have a good time. They're optimistic. They bring a light into the room. They may not always be the center of attention. They don't try to be, but regardless, it happens. You know how to make everyone feel included. You know how to make everyone feel like, you know, they're having a good time. Um, you're, you know, the life of the friend group. You are someone that is so confident. Even if you don't feel it 100% of the time, you fake it <laughs> until you make it, right? You are extremely attractive, energetically and physically. And you attract all the, you know, opportunities that you see for yourself because you believe in yourself. I really do feel that. And even if that has been a journey for you to kind of have this confidence, you've achieved something here, Libra, because you are eye-catching. And, you know, you know how to get what you want. And you don't even have to be the most incredibly good-looking person on earth. But there's an energy that comes with someone who's so sure of themselves, confident in themselves, who, you know, just carries this energy of, you know, not everyone's going to like me, but I like me and that's what matters. That's way sexier than anything. You know, I always say this scenario, like, even if for me personally, uh, Calvin Klein... Victoria's Secret model was talking to me 
but they had no depth. They were surface. They were bland. I could never be as attracted to them as someone who inspires me, who catches my eye, who, you know, intrigues me, who stimulates me. That's far more attractive to me. And I'm not saying looks do not matter per se. I mean, let's be realistic here, but there's just some energy about you that you just are a fire. You're a flame. And moths get drawn to that flame. I feel you do get a lot of attention. You do get a lot of people who hit on you. You do get a lot of people that flirt with you. And maybe that's why they're a little bit intimidated too. Because when they take you out, you know you're getting numbers collected. Instagram handles collected. How they are in this connection is the two of wands, Aries energy. Yeah, so like I said, it's getting harder and harder for them to hold this back. It's getting harder and harder for them to not pursue this. And I feel July is the decision they're making to do something about it. And like I said, with dinner, look, it looks like they're having dinner with each other in this card. Like that's a big proponent for me. Um, maybe they want to make you dinner. Maybe someone's in you know, the culinary um, career in some way, or someone lives right next to a restaurant that's bomb. Maybe even a food truck I heard for someone out there. But they're looking to seal the deal. I think that this draw and pull to Libra has just been building, and now they're going to go for it. They're going to make that move. They're going to try and see where it lands. Maybe this is something you've been hoping for, but again, you want to see that they felt the same. You didn't want to do the first move, and that's fine. But maybe you're going to be proven right, Libra, about your gut feeling about this person, the one that has been watching you from afar, the one that has had a crush on you. I think they're about to do it, and they're about to go for it. But to see the likely outcome of this situation, Libra, what is likely to happen and unfold, what do you need to know about this person, about this connection, and what's going to, you know, probably happen by the end of July. We're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. I'm going to overturn this card here to show you the likely outcome, anything else you need to know about this person and their motives, what they're going to do. I'm going to pull some oracle cards as well to dive deeper into this connection. Ask Spirit if there's anything else you need to know about this person, about this connection, um, why they're showing up in your love reading for July even more so. So... If you'd like to join me for the extended reading, open up the description box and you'll find a link to the meal, which will take you to the extended reading. But if this is where you depart, Libra, I really hope that this reading has resonated with you. It's given you confirmation, clarity, healing, insight, and guidance in regards to what's going on in your love life. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Libra, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Libra.